live class and this is professor arpana shah your maths teacher and students in today's session what are we going to discuss so we will be discussing about the most important part of calculus your 11th standard part of calculus that is limits now students before starting limits let us understand what is adiora ye adiora hai kya so basically adiora is an online platform so it provides what so it, it is providing a digital learning education and it is basically an app which gives you quality education at an affordable price what are you thinking download the app and make the most use of it but ye provide kya karta hai so it provides courses from 6 to 12 iit jwe neat competitive exams spoken english and not only this much it also provides you ebooks your mind maps you have 2d and 3d interactive videos you have subjective questions you have objective questions past year papers past year mcqs and many more so students without wasting any time download this app make the most of it because the moment you download you will get a 14 days free trial so ye trial ka maza uthane ke liye aapko ye app download karna hai to ye to hua edura ke bare mein now let's continue with the topic now students when i say it is the most important part because calculus carries a lot of weightage here. so when i say calculus carries a lot of weightage that means limits is a part of that and understand one thing students <clears throat> agar aapka limit strong hai to uske sath aapka continuity easy ho jata hai because agar aapko continuity solve karna hai to limit strong karna hi padega but lekin kintu parantu students aapko limit strong karne ke liye teen basic cheez aani hi chahiye your basics should be strong and what basics am i talking about so the first basic which i will suggest is your laws of indices aapko laws of indices aane chahiye to ye laws of indices mein hota kya hai so it is basically a raised to m into a raised to n which is equal to a raised to m plus n a raised to m upon a raised to n is equal to a raised to m minus n wo wale formula yaad hai correct then <coughs> uske baad आपका लॉग्स स्ट्रॉन्ग होना चाहिए सो वेन आई से लॉग्स दैट मीन्स योर लॉगरिदम शुड बी स्ट्रॉन्ग बेसिकली द प्रॉपर्टीज द लॉज ऑफ लॉग्स एवरीथिंग एंड द लीस्ट बट नॉट द लास्ट एंड लास्ट बट नॉट द लीस्ट वट एवर यू वॉन्ट से यू कैन से ट्रिगो फॉर्मूला अगर आपको ट्रिगो फॉर्मूला आता है तो ना ही लिमिट्स ना ही कंटिन्यूटी आपका डेरिवेटिव आपका इंटीग्रेशन आपका मैथ्स आपका इंजीनियरिंग सब स्ट्रॉन्ग हो जाएगा सो ट्रिगो फॉर्मूला दैट इंपॉर्टेंट सो स्टूडेंट्स ये हुआ बेसिक का बात जहां पे आपको लिमिट स्ट्रॉन्ग करने के लिए ये चीज स्ट्रॉन्ग करनी है ना लेट एस अंडरस्टैंड ये लिमिट्स क्या है सो सपोज मैं अगर एक एग्जाम्पल लेता हूं वाई इज इक्वल टू तो y अगर हम इसे ग्राफ पे ड्रॉ करते हैं तो इट इज बेसिकली योर पैराबोलिक कर्व सो वाई इज इक्वल टू एक्स स्क् अगर हम जनरल कर्व ड्रॉ करेंगे तो ये हुआ वाई इज इक्वल टू एक्स स्क्वायर ना टेल मी वन थिंग अगर मैं यहां पे x का वैल्यू वन लिखता हूं तो मुझे y क्या मिलेगा y भी वन मिलेगा That means it will be some point somewhere here. Suppose if I write x is equal to two, so y क्या मिलेगा? तो y मुझे four मिलेगा. That means it will be somewhere here. So अगर मैं x की values डालते जाऊँ, तो मुझे y का values मिलेगा. तो वो जो अलग-अलग points हमें मिलते हैं, वो सब points को हम join करेंगे, तब वो एक curve form होता है. And ये तो हुआ डायरेक्ट वैल्यू अगर मुझे पॉइंट में कुछ दिया है तो क्या करें तो वो वैल्यूज फाइंड करने के लिए हम लोग लिमिट सॉल्व करते हैं सो बेसिकली वॉट एवर आंसर ऑफ लिमिट्स यू गेट 
they are not the exact answers they are near by values so that is the reason you have to understand how to solve some series of limits now limits mein do type ki limits hoti hai ek hoti hai left hand limit aur ek hoti hai राइट हैंड लिमिट तो ये राइट हैंड लिमिट और लेफ्ट हैंड लिमिट है क्या सो so, बेसिकली अगर हमें लिमिट की वैल्यू पे कोई साइन दिया है लेट से माइनस साइन या प्लस साइन सो so, अगर माइनस साइन है दैट मीन्स वो लेफ्ट हैंड लिमिट हुआ अगर वो प्लस साइन है तो वो राइट हैंड लिमिट हुआ इसे लिखेंगे कैसे तो इसे इन जनरल हम लिखते हैं लिमिट एक्स टेंडिंग टू सम वैल्यू ए x तो मुझे अगर ये y is equal to x square को लिखना है तो मैं इसे लिखूंगा लिमिट एक्सटेंडिंग टू a x square ये f of x मतलब वो y ही होता है फंक्शन ऑफ x यहां पे वेन वी से अबाउट फंक्शन ऑफ x देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ फंक्शन one is independent function and one is dependent function so we can say that x is an independent function and y or f of x is a dependent function because the value of y is dependent on value of x so this is how in general we denote limits agar yahi cheez main yahan pe likhta hu limit x tending to a minus ye jo main bol raha hu x tending to the meaning of that is approaching matlab the value of x is approaching some value some number so this is called as an approaching sign aur agar main yahan pe a minus likh raha hu that means it is approaching from left side of it and if i am writing limit x tending to a plus that means it is approaching right side of it so agar main yahan pe 3 likh raha hu and if i am writing limit x tending to 3 minus so that means it is approaching from left side of 3 if i am writing limit x tending to 3 plus that means it is approaching 3 from right side of so this is the value of left hand and right hand now students ye jo hum likhte hai approaching 3 uska meaning kya hua Now, when I say it is approaching three, that means it is near by three. So it can be any value which is near by three. It can be two point nine. It can be two point nine one, two point nine two, two point nine three, two point nine 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 nine, but not three. Similarly, it can be three point one, three point zero one, three point zero zero one, three point one two, three point two, anything but not three. So we don't know what is that value. so that is the reason we always take the nearby possible value now students limit solve karne ke liye pehle hum dekhte hain ki ise use kaise kare to agar hame example diya hai limit x tending to 3 to x plus 5 if i want to find the value of this function to jahan jahan pe x है वहां पे थ्री का वैल्यू डाल दीजिए तो हमें यहाँ पे मिलेगा टू इंटू थ्री प्लस फाइव इज नथिंग बट सिक्स प्लस फाइव इज इज इलेवन सो दिस इज हाउ वी फाइंड वैल्यू ऑफ लिमिट्स नाउ ये हुआ वैल्यू ऑफ लिमिट्स आफ्टर दिस देर इज समथिंग कॉल्ड एस एल्जिब्रा ऑफ लिमिट्स तो ये एल्जिब्रा ऑफ लिमिट्स होता क्या है नाउ एल्जिब्रा ऑफ लिमिट्स इंक्लूड्स फोर थिंग्स वन इज एडिशन सब्रैक्शन मल्टीप्लीकेशन एंड अगर ये तीन हुआ तो डिविजन भी बनता है बॉस सो लेट्स चेक एडिशन कुछ नहीं करना है बहुत ईजी है यहां पर लिमिट एक्सटेंडिंग टू ए अगर दो फंक्शन एडिशन में दिए है एफ ऑफ एक्स प्लस जी ऑफ एक्स तो लिमिट दोनों फंक्शन के साथ चले जाएगा तो इसे हम लिख सकते हैं लिमिट एक्स टेंडिंग टू ए एफ ऑफ एक्स प्लस लिमिट एक्स टेंडिंग टू ए जी ऑफ एक्स दिस इज योर एडिशन ऑफ लिमिट्स देन लेट्स कम टू सब्रैक्शन ऑफ लिमिट्स सो व्हाट इज सब्रैक्शन ऑफ लिमिट्स सेम 
लिमिट एक्सटेंडिंग टू ए अगर दो फंक्शन सप्रेक्शन के फॉर्म में है सो लेट से इट इज एफ ऑफ एक्स माइनस जी ऑफ एक्स तो यहां पे लिमिट दोनों के साथ जाएगा सो वी कैन राइट लिमिट एक्सटेंडिंग टू ए एफ ऑफ एक्स माइनस लिमिट एक्सटेंडिंग टू ए जी ऑफ एक्स एडिशन हुआ सप्रेक्शन हुआ तो मल्टीप्लीकेशन भी बनता है सेम कंडीशन इफ टू फंक्शन आर इन मल्टीप्लीकेशन लिमिट दोनों के साथ जाएगा सो so, अगर हमें दिया है लिमिट एक्सटेंडिंग टू ए एफ ऑफ एक्स इन टू जी ऑफ एक्स सो हेयर योर लिमिट विल गो विद बोथ दिस फंक्शन एंड यू कैन राइट इट एज लिमिट एक्सटेंडिंग टू ए एफ ऑफ एक्स इन टू लिमिट एक्सटेंडिंग टू ए जी ऑफ एक्स एंड आफ्टर मल्टीप्लीकेशन वी हैव डिविजन ऑफ लिमिट्स सो लिमिट एक्सटेंडिंग टू ए इफ वी आर गिवन एफ ऑफ एक्स अपॉन जी ऑफ एक्स सेम कंडीशन स्टूडेंट्स लिमिट विल गो विथ बोथ दिस फंक्शन सो वी विल राइट इट एस लिमिट एक्सटेंडिंग टू ए एफ ऑफ एक्स अपॉन लिमिट एक्सटेंडिंग टू ए जी ऑफ एक्स नाउ स्टूडेंट्स ये जो एल्जिब्रा ऑफ लिमिट हमने किया एडिशन सप्रेक्शन मल्टीप्लीकेशन डिविजन वो हमें हर स्टेप में नहीं दिखाना इट इज अंडरस्टूड कि हम लोग वो अप्लाई कर देते हैं तो यू डोंट हैव टू वेस्ट योर टाइम इन राइटिंग ऑल स्टेप्स when you are applying it you can write it directly it is understood that you have applied algebra of limits i hope this much is clear <coughs> now students moving on to the most important part of limits that is there are different types of sums in limits to wo jo different types of sums jo hai limits mein wo kaise karna hai so yahan pe hame sabse pehle formula yaad rakhna hai और सबसे पहला हमारा फॉर्मूला है लिमिट एक्सटेंडिंग टू ए एक्स रेस टू एन माइनस ए रेस टू एन अपॉन एक्स माइनस ए इज इक्वल टू एन इन टू ए रेस टू एन माइनस इफ यू नो दिस फॉर्मूला यू कैन सॉल्व योर सम्स बेस्ड ऑन दिस बट हाउ इट इज द कंडीशन so there are three conditions to apply this formula the first condition is that limit should be extending to a that means a is some constant the second condition there should be minus sign in numerator and denominator second condition and the third condition students is ye jo teeno a hai wo same hone chahiye अगर ये तीन कंडीशन फुलफिल हुआ यू कैन डायरेक्टली अप्लाई द फॉर्मूला एन इज इक्वल एन इन टू ए रेस टू एन माइनस वन लेट्स चेक वन एग्जाम्पल नाउ स्टूडेंट्स सपोज मैं एक सम लेता हूं जहां पे आई एम राइटिंग लिमिट एक्सटेंडिंग टू थ्री एक्स क्यूब माइनस ट्वेंटी सेवन अपॉन एक्स माइनस थ्री ना एक्स क्यूब माइनस ट्वेंटी सेवन यहां पर तो हम लिख देंगे लिमिट एक्सटेंडिंग टू थ्री एक्स क्यूब माइनस थ्री क्यूब अपॉन एक्स माइनस थ्री वाई शुड आई रिमेंबर दिस फॉर्मूला वेन आई नो ए क्यूब माइनस बी क्यूब फॉर्मूला हंड्रेड परसेंट यू आर राइट वाई टू रिमेंबर हमें तो ए क्यूब माइनस बी क्यूब की फॉर्मूला आती है हम वो फॉर्मूला अप्लाई करेंगे और फिर लिमिट अप्लाई कर देंगे अरे ये लिमिट अप्लाई करेंगे कैसे यहां पे अगर डायरेक्टली लिमिट अप्लाई किया तो वो जीरो बाई जीरो फॉर्म आता है दैट मींस लिमिट डज नॉट एक्सिस्ट और अगर लिमिट डज नॉट एक्सिस्ट आया दैट मींस द फंक्शन इज रॉन्ग सो वी हैव टू सॉल्व दैट फंक्शन एंड देन गेट द आंसर यू शुड नॉट गेट जीरो इन योर डिनोमिनेटर तो स्टूडेंट्स माय क्वेश्चन इज वाई टू रिमेंबर दिस फॉर्मूला वेन वी नो द बेजिक आई एग्री लेकिन ये सम की जगह पे अगर मैं यहां पे लिमिट एक्सटेंडिंग टू थ्री एक्स रेस टू सेवन माइनस थ्री रेस टू सेवन अपॉन एक्स माइनस थ्री दे दू तब क्या करोगे ये फॉर्मूला तो नहीं आती है सो टू सॉल्व सच नंबर्स 
ये फॉर्मूला काम आएगी सो हाउ टू अप्लाई कंडीशन एक्सटेंडिंग टू थ्री मैंने बोला था कॉन्स्टेंट होना चाहिए है माइनस साइन होने चाहिए है तीनों कांस्टेंट सेम होने चाहिए है सो यू कैन डायरेक्टली अप्लाई द फॉर्मूला व्हाट इज एन हर एन इज थ्री सो वी गेट थ्री इंटू थ्री रेस टू थ्री माइनस वन व्हिच इज थ्री इंटू थ्री स्क्वायर व्हिच इज नथिंग बट ट्वेंटी सेवन एंड दिस इज हाउ वी सॉल्व अवर सम सिमिलरली अगर ये सम सॉल्व करना है तो क्या करेंगे सेम फॉर्मूला अप्लाई करो एन एस सेवन थ्री इंटू थ्री रेस टू सेवन माइनस वन सो वी गेट थ्री इन सेवन इंटू थ्री रेस टू सिक्स एंड दिस इज हाउ वी फाइंड द आंसर सो स्टूडेंट समझा कैसे करना है लेट्स टेक वन मोर एग्जाम्पल एंड द एग्जाम्पल इज सपोज इफ वी हैव लिमिट एक्स टेंडिंग टू टू एक्स रेस टू फोर माइनस सिक्सटीन अपॉन एक्स क्यूब माइनस एट हाउ टू सॉल्व अभी अभी तुम बोलोगे के डिनोमिनेटर में तो सिंगल टर्म था अब कैसे सॉल्व करें फॉर्मूला तो अटक गए नहीं यहां पे वी नीड टू बी स्मार्ट व्हाट वी विल डू इज लिमिट एक्सटेंडिंग टू टू आई विल डिवाइड द न्यूमिनेटर एंड द डिनोमिनेटर विथ x minus two, so I get x raised to four minus two raised to four upon x minus two, whole upon x cube minus two cube upon x minus two. Now, ये पूरा एक फंक्शन हो गया, ये पूरा दूसरा फंक्शन हो गया, डिविजन के फॉर्म में है, लिमिट दोनों के साथ जाएगा, दोनों के साथ लिमिट जाएगा, दोनों में फॉर्मूला अप्लाई होगा और हमें नेक्स्ट स्टेप क्या मिलेगा? 4 into 2 raise to 4 minus 1 which is 3 upon 3 into 2 raise to 3 minus 1 which is 2. So when we solve this we get 8 upon 3 and this is how we solve our sum. So students I hope it is easy it is understood how to solve sums based on such formula. Now Moving on to the next formula of limits and the next formula of limits is limit x tending to 0 sin x upon x is equal to 1 and limit x tending to 0 tan x upon x is equal to 1. So students, ye do formula hume learn karni hai and what is the condition? So the condition to apply this formula is again there are three conditions the first condition limit should be x tending to 0 kya hona chahiye sabse pehla condition x tending to 0 second condition ye jo sin x or tan x hai matlab jo angle x hai that should be radians kis mein hona chahiye radians mein agar radians mein nahi hai degrees mein diya hai convert it into radians so how to convert multiply by pi by 180 and the third condition, ये दोनों x, angle वाला x और denominator वाला x same होना चाहिए। अगर ये तीन conditions match होता है, you can clearly say that the formula is correct. You can apply the formula. So what are your three conditions? The first condition should be limit extending to zero. Second condition, the angle should be in radians and both this x should be same. If this three conditions satisfy, you can directly apply the formula. Let's check sums. Suppose we have limit x tending to 0 sin 7x upon x. Can we apply formula here? No, we cannot apply formula directly. Why? Because pehla condition match hua, limit x tending to 0. Na yes. Second condition kya tha? x जो angle में है वो radians में होना चाहिए वो भी है लेकिन third condition match नहीं हो रहा है what is the third condition that both this x should be same that means अगर यहाँ पे 7x है तो नीचे भी 7x होना चाहिए पर वो तो है नहीं तो यहाँ पे क्या करेंगे यहाँ पे 
हम सॉल्व करेंगे सो वी गेट लिमिट एक्स टेंडिंग टू जीरो आई एम मल्टीप्लाइंग एंड डिवाइडिंग बाय सेवन सो वी गेट सेवन इंटू साइन ऑफ सेवन एक्स अपॉन सेवन एक्स ना तीनों कंडीशन सेटिस्फाई हुआ सो व्हेन वी अप्लाई लिमिट्स हियर ये पूरा पार्ट वन हो गया सो so क्या बचा वी आर लेफ्ट विथ सेवन इंटू वन विच इज नथिंग बट सेवन and this is how we apply the formula let's take one more example let's say hame question diya hai limit x tending to 0 tan 6x upon 7x how to solve this first condition match ho raha hai x tending to 0 hona chahiye hai second condition match ho raha hai radians mein angle hona chahiye hai lekin third condition match nahi ho raha so when the third condition is not possible you need 6x instead of 7x so what we will do so first of all this 7 is a constant we will remove it out and we will write limit x tending to 0 tan 6x upon x now what is missing 6 is missing multiply divide by 6 so 6 by 7 limit of x tending to 0 tan 6x upon 6x so the moment we apply limits here this part is 1 and we get the answer as 6 by 7 and this is how we solve our sum now students let's take one more example where you have two different terms what we will do so let's say if we are limit extending to 0 sin 6x upon tan 5x how to solve this now what is missing first of all x in denominator is missing so we will multiply divide by x now when we say multiply divide by x it is same as dividing numerator and denominator by x so first of all we will write limit x tending to 0 sin 6x upon x whole upon tan 5x upon x then what is missing abhi bhi third condition missing hai kya ki x same hone chahiye so next step mein hum kya karenge so next step mein hum yahan pe likhenge limit x tending to 0 6 into sin 6x upon 6x upon 5 into tan 5x upon 5x to jab bhi limit ye dono ke sath jayega ye part वन हो गया फिर जब यहां पे लिमिट अप्लाई होगा तो ये पार्ट भी वन हो गया दैट मींस वी आर लेफ्ट विद सिक्स बाय फाइव एंड दिस इज हाउ वी सॉल्व अवर सम सो स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू अप्लाई दिस फार्मूला यस नाउ लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट फार्मूला ऑफ लिमिट्स एंड द नेक्स्ट फार्मूला ऑफ लिमिट्स इज लिमिट एक्स टेंडिंग टू जीरो a raised to x minus 1 upon x is equal to log a and limit x tending to 0 e raised to x minus 1 upon x is equal to 1 so again what is the condition to apply this formula so students again we have three conditions here and the first condition is x tending to 0 on a chain compulsive second condition there should be minus 1 always what is the second condition it should be minus 1 always and the third condition both this x should be same agar ye teeno condition match ho raha hai you can directly apply the formula here so students what are your three conditions first of all limit x tending to 0 hona chahiye second condition minus 1 hona chahiye and third condition dono x same hona chahiye agar ye sab condition match hua you can directly apply the formula now in the first formula a raised to x minus 1 upon x the answer is log a and this a can be any constant it can be any number so based on this let's solve one two sums to understand the formula so let's say we are given 
limit x tending to 0 7 raised to 2x minus 1 upon x simple sum first condition match hua yes match ho raha hai second condition match ho raha hai yes match ho raha hai minus 1 hai third condition kya tha so the third condition here is both x should be same but there is 2x in the power and there is only x what is missing 2 is missing so we will multiply divide by 2 so we get limit x tending to 0 7 raised to 2x minus 1 upon 2x into 2 the moment we apply limits ye kya ho gaya? log 7 ho gaya. to hume milega 2 into log 7 so either the answer is 2 log 7 or you can write it as log of 49 that is log 7 square whichever way you want to write correct let's take one more example let's say we are given limit x tending to 0 8 raised to 3x minus 1 upon 6 raised to 5x minus 1 how to solve so first of all students what is missing upon x is missing so divide numerator and denominator by x so when we divide numerator and denominator by x we get limit x tending to 0 8 raised to 3x minus 1 upon x whole upon 6 raised to 5x minus 1 upon x now what is missing first condition match or I second condition match or I third condition match nahi ho hai. why because x same on each so the next step will be limit x tending to 0 8 raised to 3x minus 1 upon 3x into 3 whole upon 6 raised to 5x minus 1 upon 5x into 5 so jaise hi yaha pe limit apply hua ye ho gaya log 8 jaise hi yaha pe limit apply hua ye ho gaya log 6 so we get 3 by 5 into log 8 upon log 6 and this is how we solve our sum or you can also write it as 3 by 5 of log 8 to the base 6 change of base here whichever way you want to write you can write you are absolutely free to write any answer but if it is asked in mcq you will have to convert in that form and get your answer so students it is clear how to solve let's take one more example now suppose if the question is limit extending to 0 7 raised to sin x minus 1 upon x how to solve this abhi tak jo kiya wo thoda easy wala tha ye thoda tricky hai lekin ye bhi easy hai kaise first condition kya tha extending to 0 hai hai minus 1 hai hai now abhi tak hum log ne multiply divide by constant kiya tha lekin yahan pe sin x diya hai so I just can't multiply divide by sine that is not math right so how to solve this we need the whole sine x term so what we will do is we will write this as limit x tending to 0 7 raised to sine x minus 1 upon sine x जब divide किया है तो multiply भी तो कर रहना पड़ेगा otherwise question change हो जाएगा तो ये into sin x हो गया अच्छा upon x भी present था ये तो कोई form में आ गया yes students जब first function के साथ limit apply होगा answer मिलेगा log 7 और जब second के साथ limit apply होगा limit x tending to 0 sin x upon x कोई तो formula बनता है right that is 1 so log 7 into 1 which is nothing but log 7 and this is how we solve our sum so students i hope it is easy i hope you understood how to solve this if yes let's move on to the next formula and the formula is limit extending to 0 limit extending to 0 
1 plus x raised to 1 by x is equal to e and limit x tending to 0 log of 1 plus x upon x is equal to 1. Now, again students, there is a condition to apply this formula. Three conditions. First conditions, I hope you understood what is the first condition. X tending to 0. Yes, the first condition to apply this formula is limit X tending to 0. Hona Second condition, 1 plus hona Kya hona 1 plus hona And the third condition remains the same. Ye dono X same hona so, agar ye teen condition satisfy huye, you can directly apply the formula here. What are your three conditions? The first condition, limit should be extending to zero. Second condition, there should be one plus. And the third condition is, both x should be same. The moment these three conditions match, you can apply the formula directly. So students, let's take a few examples based on this formula. And our first question is, let's say we are given limit x tending to 0, 1 plus 3x raised to 1 by x. Get me the answer. So what is the condition? The first condition says limit x tending to 0. Yes, it is possible. It is given to us. The second condition is there should be 1 plus. Yes, it is 1 plus. And the third condition both x should be same. We are given 3x, but in power, it is only x. What is missing? 3 is missing. So we need 3. So we will write the next step as limit x tending to 0, 1 plus 3x raised to 1 by 3x whole raised to 3. I have applied laws of indices students starting of the session I said your basics should be strong and that is what I have done. So the moment we apply limits here this whole part becomes E and the answer is EQ. So students it is easy clear how to solve. Let's take one more sum and the next example is limit x tending to 0. 1 minus 2x whole raised to 1 by x. Get me the answer. Think. How do you solve? Now, a condition match ho gaya, limit x tending to 0. Lekin baki ke do condition match nahi ho rahe. So, to chaliye match karte hai. So, we get limit x tending to 0. Can I write this as 1 plus minus 2x raised to 1 by x second condition match ho gaya abhi third condition match karna hai that means i need minus 2 so we will write this as limit x tending to 0 1 plus minus 2x whole raised to 1 by minus 2x raised to minus 2 so jaise hi yahan pe limit apply ho gaya ये हो जाएगा e और हमें मिलेगा e raise to minus 2. And this is how we solve our sum. So students, based on this, let's take one more example. And the example is limit x tending to 0, 1 plus 3x upon 1 minus 5x whole raise to 1 by x. How to solve this? So students, you have to do the same thing. Laws of indices, basics. So first of all, we will write it like this. Limit x tending to 0, 1 plus 3x raised to 1 by x whole upon 1 minus 5x raised to 1 by x a upon b whole raised to m is a raised to m upon b raised to m. Your basics, laws of indices, that is the reason I keep on telling you, make your basics strong, which we are doing it. Now, after doing that, we know that limit will go with both these functions. So, can we write the next step as limit x tending to 0, 1 plus 3x raised to 1 by x whole upon 
limit extending to 0, 1 plus minus 5x raised to 1 by x. Two conditions match. Ho limit extending to 0 to thai, 1 plus b mil gaya. Abhi sirf tisra condition match karna hai. What is that third condition? x should be same. So for numerator, 3 is missing. For denominator, minus 5 is missing. So the next step will become limit extending to 0, 1 plus 3x raised to 1 by 3x raised to 3. Whole upon limit extending to 0, 1 plus minus 5x raised to 1 by minus 5x whole raised to 5 minus 5 so the moment we apply limits what do we get we get e raised to 3 upon e raised to minus 5 which we can write it as e raised to 3 plus 5 or we can write it as 1 upon e raised to minus 8 so you get two answers one is e raised to 8 or one is 1 upon e raised to minus 8. Whichever answer you want to write, you can write it. But this is how you solve your sums. Now students, moving on to the next example. And the question is, if we have limit extending to 0, log of 1 plus 3x upon x. Same condition students, what is the first condition extending to 0 on a chie? Hai. Second condition 1 plus on a chie? Hai. Third condition same on a chie? Same hai? Nahi hai. So, 3 missing. Can we write it as limit extending to 0 log of 1 plus 3x upon x into 3? Now, the moment we apply limits here, ये पूरा वन हो गया, so हमें क्या मिलेगा आंसर? Three, because what is your formula? Limit extending to zero log of one plus x upon x is nothing but one. So three into one is three, and this is how you solve your sum. So students, this was about your formula of limits. Let's take one more example, and the question is: limit extending to zero log of 1 minus 7x upon 8x. How to solve? So, first of all, we will write a normal formula, likhenge, which is limit extending to 0 log of 1 plus minus 7x upon x. I am writing this 8 as into 1 by 8. Now, Two conditions are available. Third condition is not. So what is that third condition? I need this minus 7. So we will multiply divide by minus 7. So we get limit extending to 0 log of 1 plus minus 7x upon minus 7x into minus 7 upon 8. That means the moment limit gets applied here, this whole part becomes one. So we get the final answer as minus 7 by 8. And this is how we solve our sum. So students, this was about your basics of limits. What are your different formula? So the different formula for limits are limit extending to a x raised to n minus a raised to n upon x minus a which is equal to n into a raised to minus 1. Then we have limit extending to 0 sin x upon x is equal to 1. Then we had limit extending to 0 tan x upon x is equal to 1. Then we had limit extending to 0 a raised to x minus 1 upon x which is equal to log a. And limit extending to 0 e raised to x minus 1 upon x is equal to 1. And students along with that, we had limit extending to 0, 1 plus x raised to 1 by x, which is e, and limit extending to 0, log of 1 plus x upon x is equal to 1. 
So based on such formula, we solve a few sums just for your understanding. Now students, you will have to wait for the next session so that we can solve good sums based on this formula. But mind you students, in your next session, if you don't revise and come, it will be a problem. So see to it that you are strong with your formula, strong with your basics, you learn and come so that in the next session, we will be solving good amount of sums which will help you to score in your exams. So students, let's end this session here. I hope you understood today's session. I hope you liked today's session. Now, before ending this session, students, again, I will remind you, download Edura app. It is free for 15 days and make the maximum use out of it. So don't wait. Download the app so that you can make use of that app. There are many such videos which will help you score for your exams, which will build your basics and students mind you, it will help you a lot. Suggest your friends, recommend your friends. This is Arpanasha signing off for the day. I hope you enjoyed today's session. I hope you liked today's session. Enjoy it.